This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. You made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good.
seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. <clears throat> and why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hello. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> I like to Not that. to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, our flow you. Let me guess, the FBI, welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calder Life was passed off. Let me guess. Missing person cases. Excuse me. 20. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. 
Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. What were you doing at Colgen Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. I need to know more about the Code of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Keep trying. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. of the tree what are the bookers telling me i found their necklace the symbol is two triangles the cult wants their spruce tree bag tammy finders keepers ed my publisher will want this on the cover tammy found something a necklace belonging to one of the cultists the bookers were at cauldron lake why the fence was built to hide what's there they say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. 
Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true! More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Hey. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. 